Welcome to Almost Pancaked. I produce informative videos. The Prime Minister of India inaugurated the underwater cable covering the distance between the state of Chennai and the Union Territory of India known as Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The cable spanning 2300 kilometers was made in only 24 months with a budget of 164 million dollars. To understand the existence of the cable, we need to look at the internet situation in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands before the cable was laid. The only source of internet for these islands were two Indian satellites providing a meager bandwidth of around 4 megabytes per second. Half of this bandwidth was reserved for state-owned and national organizations like the military and the government banks. The rest of it was distributed among the hundreds of thousands of residents and tourists. This naturally resulted in a pathetic internet situation, due to which tourism was very limited, students could not access online learning, merchants and businessmen could not use online payment services, among other problems. In an effort to boost the economy and fix the situation, the government laid out a plan in 2018 to build an underwater cable connecting India to Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This cable is not any other ordinary cable, but this is a submarine grade optical fiber cable. The working and construction of this amazing technology is beyond the scope of this video, but I'll link some really cool resources in the description. For now, all you need to know is that optical fibers are specially designed cables to transmit large volumes of data at super high speeds, often several TBs per second. 99% of the internet is transmitted through underwater cables instead of satellites. Due to this cable, Port Blair which is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands will receive 400 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. This cable is then distributed further to the 7 main islands which will receive 200 gigabytes per second. This will increase the average person's internet speed by almost 10 times. Online learning, online payments, and online government services can finally become a reality. Tourism is also expected to boost as a result. Let me know in the comments what other topic you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching my video. This was almost pancake.